Ickle Me Pickle Me Tickle Me Too by Shel Silverstein. Ickle Me Pickle Me Tickle Me Too went for a ride in a flying shoe. Hooray, what fun! It's time we flew, said Ickle Me Pickle Me Tickle Me Too. Ickle was captain and Pickle was crew, and Tickle served coffee and mulligan stew. As higher and higher and higher they flew, Ickle Me Pickle Me Tickle Me Too. Ickle Me Pickle Me Tickle Me Too, over the sun and beyond the blue. Hold on, stay in, I hope we do, cried Ickle Me Pickle Me Tickle Me Too. Ickle Me Pickle Me Tickle Me Too, never returned to the world they knew. And nobody knows what's happened to dear Ickle Me Pickle Me Tickle Me Too. Crabby by Barbara Vance. I'm a crab who walks the shore and pinches toes all day. If I were you, I would wear your shoes and not get in my way. The poem I chose is A Prayer in Spring by Robert Frost. Oh, give us pleasure in the flowers today, and give us not to think so far away. As the uncertain harvest keep us here, all simply in the springing of the year. Oh, give us pleasure in the orchard white, like nothing else by day, like ghosts by night. And make us happy in the happy bees, the swarm dilating around the perfect trees. And make us happy in the darting bird that suddenly above the bees is heard. The meteor that thrusts in with needle of bell and off a blossom in midair stands still. For this is love and nothing else is love, the, wi the which it is reserved for God above, to sanctify to what far, far ends he will, but which it only needs that we fulfill. Walk the plank, says Captain Jim. But Captain Jim, I cannot swim. Then you must steer us through the gale. But Captain Jim, I cannot sail. Then down with the gallery slaves you go. But Captain Jim, I cannot row. Then you must be a pirate's clerk. But Captain Jim, I cannot work. Then you must be a captain. Thank you, Jim, the Captain me. Hockey, author unknown. Hockey's our game, but really it's much more than just a game. It's a passion that begins us all at, together on frozen ponds, at the community rink, and in our driveways. It's the feeling you it's the feeling you get when you step on the ice, the feeling you get when you score your first goal. It's on our dreams in every post-game celebration. It's in every rink across the country. Hockey is in our blood. It's in our heart. Bye, Sean. Falling up by Shell Silverstein. I tripped on my shoelace and I fell up. Up to the rooftops, up over the town, up past the treetops, up over the mountains, up where the colors blend into the sounds. But it got me so dizzy when I looked around. I got sick to my stomach and I threw down. Hello, my name is Zach. And the poem I'm reading is Basketball by Dewani Hanna. Basketball, basketball on the wood floor. Dribble, dribble, shoot, then score. Basketball, basketball, the big time rush. On our last free throw, the crowd starts to hush. Basketball, basketball, the sport that I love. If we don't win, Nationals, I'll go get my glove. Stay safe. Hi, I am Simple Simon, and I'm going to the fair. <laughs> I'm the pie man! Let me taste your <laughs> Show me first your penny. <laughs> Indeed, I have not any. Then you don't get any pie! <laughs> I have an idea. I'm gonna fish for a whale in this tail. The X 
Twinkling Green by William Blake. The sun doesn't rise and make happy the skies. The merry bells ring to welcome the spring. The sky lark and thrush, the birds of the bush, sing louder around to the bells, cheerful sounds, while our sport shall be seen on the echoing green. Old John with white hair does, does laugh away care, sitting under the oak among the old folk, they laugh at her play, and soon they all say, such such were the joys when all the boys and girls in our youth time were seen on the echoing green. Till little ones weary, no more can be merry. The sun does descend, and our sports have an end. Round the laps of their mothers, many sisters and brothers, like birds in their nest, are ready for a rest, and sport knows no more seen on the darkening green. Spaghetti by Shel Silverstein. Spaghetti, spaghetti all over the place, up to my elbows, up to my face, over the carpet and under the chairs, filling the bathtub and covering the desk, making the sofa a mad wishy mess. The party is ruined, I am terribly worried, the guests have all left, unless they are buried. I told them bring presents. I fed, I said throw confetti. I guess they heard wrong because they all threw spaghetti. Footprints. One night, a man had a dream. He dreamed he was walking along the beach with the woods. Across the sky flashed scenes from his life. For each scene, he noticed two sets of footprints in the sand. One belonged to him and the other to the wood. When the last scene of his life flashed before him, he looked back at the footprints in the sand. He noticed that many times along the path of his life, there was only one set of footprints. He also noticed that it happened at the very lowest and saddest times of his life. This really bothered him, and he questioned the Lord about it. Lord, you said that once I decided to follow you, you'd walk with me all the way. But I have noticed that during the most troublesome times in my life, there was only one set of footprints. I don't understand why when I needed you most, you would leave me. The Lord replied, my precious, precious child, I love you and I would never leave you. During your times of trial and suffering, when you see only one set of footprints, it was then that I carried you. Author is unknown. Love Song for Lucinda by Langston Hughes. Love is a ripe plum growing on a purple tree. Taste it once, and the spell of its enchantment will never let you be. Love is a bright star, glowing the far southern skies. Look too hard, and its burning flame will always hurt your eyes. Love is a high mountain, dark in a windy sky. If you would never lose your breath, don't climb too high. I wrote a rainbow unicorn by Ken Nesbitt. I wrote a rainbow unicorn. We sailed across the sky. I fed him lots of skittles since they always made him fly. We took off like a comet on a long and graceful flight. And everywhere the people stopped and marveled at the sight. His path was bright and colorful. A sparkled, shimmered shine. He arced across the heavens shooting rainbows from behind. <laughs> 